Welcome back to the Red Dice Diaries, and this is just a short Matters of Fate video. Chris Wilhelm on YouTube requested a video just explaining a little bit more about situational aspects. And basically, a situational aspect is a short-lived or finite aspect that applies normally only to the length of a scene or until a particular situation ceases to have an effect. And it can represent a number of things, such as physical features, whether that's an open pit or dense underbrush. It can represent positioning or placement, such as cover, etc. It can represent immediate obstacles, the aforementioned open pit being one, a burning building, etc. Other details that are important to the scene, such as a, a high-tech security system, laser trip wires, uh, an angry mob, etc., or it can represent sudden changes in the character's state, such as dust in your eyes, lying prone, unconscious, etc. Now, these aspects normally either exist in a scene at the start, such as the aforementioned high-tech security system, or they come into play due to someone's actions in the scene. And they normally last until the end of a scene, although there are some circumstances where that isn't the case. Now, what I normally do when I go into a scene, if I know the certain aspects that are going to be in play at start, I generally have them written on an index card in the centre of the table, so I know what the aspects are. Now, there's a little bit of debate between GMs and people with various different playing styles about whether you should let players know what scene aspects are as soon as they go into a scene. Now, generally, I think yes, you should, because a large part of the fate game system is being able to issue self compels or invoke an aspect which is pretty damn difficult to do if you don't know what the aspect is in the first place now there are ways around that but i generally just prefer to put the aspects out on the table as it were however there are certain times when having an aspect just a hundred percent revealed isn't what you want for instance let's say we know from our gm notes that one of the people in the crowd is a vampire and you don't want the players to know that by having it revealed on an aspect at the start of the scene since that'll ruin all of the tension. What I tend to do in this case is I'll still put an aspect down that the player characters see but I'll make it quite oblique and not directly referring to the crucial reveal point of the plot. So to use our vampire example I might say there's a pallid hungry looking man or a gaunt pallid man in the crowd and that might be an aspect now when the player characters find out if of course they do that this person is a vampire i'll then amend the aspect to say that specifically and they can carry on using it as normal if you have any doubts about whether you should have a situational aspect in a scene all you need to really ask yourself is a single question can the aspect the object the situation whatever be used to gain both a positive bonus or a negative bonus or a complication if the answer to both of these is yes then chances are it should be a situational aspect so to use our example of the high-tech security system it would give someone a bonus if they were using it to try and spot intruders perhaps on videotaped recordings however it could also be compelled, if someone were trying to sneak past it, to maybe have them break a laser tripwire with all the resulting complications that would ensue from that. So there we have something that has both a positive side and a negative side. And if something has both of those, then chances are it should probably be an aspect. Now you don't want to go too overboard since having a massive list of 50 aspects, 90% of them are never going to get used. And if they're not going to get used, there's no point really having them. Pick out two or three at most main features of your scene have them written on an index card post-it note whatever you choose to use in the middle of the table you've got that there for your scene if you can write some of them in advance have them all wrote out and in a pile then every time you go into a scene all you've got to do is boom there's the aspects for that scene and you can all get on with invoking and compelling to your heart's content so there we are chris i hope that's explained situational aspects in a little bit more detail i'm hopefully going to be doing a video shortly which will be about preparing a fate session i know you've asked for that chris 
So I hope you'll stay tuned for that. And I hope if you've enjoyed this video, you'll consider clicking on the red dice up there to subscribe to my channel. You can follow us on all the usual social media, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, etc. Or you can read our blog at www.reddicediaries.com. As always, if you have any comments, please put them in the comments box down below or hit me up in the Google Plus links. Until I see you next time, take care and happy gaming.